All right, ladies and gentlemen, so today we're going for the final episode, episode 5, Don't Stop Believing! All right, let's get this show on the road, Guardians of the Galaxy, episode 5, Don't Stop Believing! As the galaxy is threatened once again and the sticks grow even more personal, Peter must rally, rally the Guardians against their greatest challenge yet, themselves. This is gonna be interesting. Really Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm sorry. This thing is way too powerful for anyone to wield. You gotta destroy it. Baldi. He is lost to me. The forge is destroyed. Because of him! I mean it this time, man. We get out of here. I'm out. I need you to respect that. This is my chance, Peter. To protect my new family. Like I never did for Hovat and Kamaria. So tell me what I have to do. My family will be proud. And I will tell them of my best friend, Peter Quill. <laughs> Peter, where's Drax? I just thought we had a leader who would fight for us. All of us. I ain't happy about Drax being gone, but I am happy to still be breathing. Thank you for freeing me and teaching me that the loudest shouter is usually the most correct. But I must go. The galaxy may need guarding, Peter, but not by us. Gamora, wait. It wasn't me who did this, Peter. It was you. Damn. This is going to be intense. I can feel it. Next up, is your Kodak device making you sick? A new study. Eight or nine rounds, then we find Hall. We have some breaking news. Reports are flying in about a violent Kree attack on Jabari 5. Millions are feared dead. Hey, Pete. I found her. Earlier today, reports came in of a deformed monster rampaging across the galaxy, attacking planets at random. It appeared as if the creature was able to draw life out of innocent bystanders without even touching them. I will hunt you down the ends of the galaxy. I shall destroy nowhere. Then I will continue to Earth. There will be no home for you anywhere. Death is coming, Peter Quill. Holy crap. I can't believe the team just ditched us when we've got this planet nuking lady to deal with. Perfect timing. Now we gotta deal with Hala as a death monster with a gun that can blow a hole in a planet. Oh yeah. We are so screwed it's not even funny. It's kind of funny, in a fatalistic sort of way. Guardian's gone. Drax dead. And Hala just seems to be getting stronger. Yeah, the last couple of days have gone from being a pile of crap to a pile of crap on fire. <sighs> Even with all that, just want you to know, I believe in you, man. 
I mean, you always figure something out. Thanks, Rocket. Really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, you gotta believe in something. You're the closest thing to me right now. There's only one way we can stop her. We need to get the Guardians back together. Peter! We have to get the Guardians back together! Groot? What are you doing here? I am Groot! Well, look what the cat dragged in. I thought you quit, Mantis. There was no cat. We dragged ourselves back. I am Groot. Oh no. This is worse than I thought. I could sense that remnants of the Forge still existed. They must be inside of Hala. It appears where the Forge granted life. Hala can now take it. With every life she claims, she'll gain more power. Are you friggin' kidding me? So sorry. I had no idea. Okay, let's just calm down. <laughs> we are not doomed. We just need to figure out some sort of plan. I am good. Yeah, you said it. The Eternity Forge is highly unstable. It would be extremely toxic to Hala. It's likely that she needs to kill herself alive. So you're saying if she stopped killing people, the Forge would consume her. I am Groot. But you have seen what she has become. Hala is too powerful a foe for the Guardians to take on. We took down Thanos. We can totally handle Hala, right guys? Guys. Come I am Groot. The Guardians are broken. I don't see a world where you can actually defeat Hala. And when you were together, you all hated each other. I can't imagine a time when you didn't hate each other. Oh, whoa, 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 Mantis, that's not true at all. Right? Come on, guys, help me out here. Look, Mantis, you didn't see us at our best. I am Groot. Wait, you want to do what? Groot wants to show us something. Okay. You got the wrong guys. Oh, you mean to tell me there's another rodent and tree duo out there? Yes! Who were scanned and ID'd by several bystanders. I am Groot. Yes, yes, we know who you are. Forget it, Groot. These bucketheads can't understand you. Don't worry. I know how to handle this. As soon as they lock us up, I'm gonna go up to the biggest, baddest dude in here and knock him out. I did not know this was an animal prison, too. Or perhaps you are my meal. I am Groot. And I am Drax the Destroyer. Do not attempt to challenge me. I will tear you limb from limb, or snout from tail, whichever would be more painful. I challenged you. I'm still here. And that is because you cheated. You had a weapon. Do take it easy. Knock it off! All right, all right. Make room for one more. Hey, don't get too comfortable. We'll be back to take you to permanent lockup soon. Who is this loser? Call me Star Lord. I'm sure you've all heard of me, especially you. Definitely not. 
<laughs> I am Groot. Really? Him? Nice to meet you, Groot. What kind of tree are you? Spruce? Elm? I am Groot. Yeah, you already said that. I could tell you guys are the real badasses in the room. Legendary outlaws like me. Oh. Not you. We're too good looking to stay locked up in here. Do you think? The second the Nova Corps start running background checks on us, none of us are ever gonna see the sweet light of day again. I don't know about you all, but I got an amazing eventful life out there that I want to get back to in, oh, say, five minutes ago. I am Groot. Not now, Tree Man. I have a plan. We're blinking out of here. I'm not going anywhere with any of you. Settle down in there. All of you. I will not settle. No prison can contain me. I'll go gladly if this giant ass won't be there. My ass is the correct proportion for my body. I am Groot. Fighting isn't gonna get us anywhere. We need to work together. Hey, to admit it, Stash Lord is right. We're fighting the wrong people. I just came up with a brilliant plan that's totally original. I'm calling it... Wait to hear this. The Great Escape. You see that guard there? He's the only one with the key card to get us out of here. There's no way we can get to it. So we gotta escape another way. There's a force field all around us, but not below us. And that's where you come in, muscle man. Hmm. I agree to this nickname. You are gonna use those beefy mitts of yours to dig us a tunnel to the other side of the force field. Beefy mitts? We don't have anywhere to hide all the debris, so this tree? Well, you're gonna have to eat it all. And once we're over there, that's where you come in, gadget guy. Uh-huh. You're little and adorable, so you're the perfect distraction. Say that again. You're the perfect distraction, so that, uh, Knife Lady can kick the guards' asses until they're unconscious. And what are you doing while we do all the work? The most important. This guy's playing games. Oh. Huh? Is that you, Rooks? I'm not gonna lie, a couple of you might die, but know that I will never forget you. Or, you could just use the key card. I love this tree. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Escape. You were going to say escape. Friendship, I was gonna say friendship, but escape will do. together yeah I never knew. you're not a team or a family or friends in the conventional sense but somehow it works we've all forgotten how much we need each other but we can still be like that again we're the guardians of the galaxy it's time we start acting like it then let's go get them back I am groomed We're probably gonna revive Drax in the end. Don't stop believing, ladies and gentlemen. I am Groot. Okay. Just gotta find Gamora. It's anyone's guess where she is. She's still an assassin. She'll know where to go if she don't want to be found. Yeah, just 
You were able to track down the shrine using your abilities. Do you think you could find one of us too? I can usually only sense someone who is nearby. But I may be able to extend my range with your help. I am group. I have an idea. What? You're going to love it. Minds. This is inside my mind. It seems kind of empty. I've never shared this with anyone before. And you didn't die or anything. This is amazing. I wasn't sure it would work, but it did. Next time, would you mind giving me a heads up first? Oh, I'm sorry. I just got a little excited. Hello. This island here represents your subconscious mind, Peter. And those other islands represent your friends. Gamora could be anywhere in the galaxy by now. In order to find her, we'll need to build a bridge. Uh, bridge? Yes, a bridge of feelings. I won't be able to do it myself. I'll need your help. Yeah, uh, I don't get it. But I'm willing to go along with it. My abilities as an empath will allow me to translate your emotional connection to the Guardians into a physical connection. If we can reach your friends' islands, we'll learn where they are. Now, I need you to concentrate very hard. When you think about the Guardians, what emotions do you feel the strongest? Um... Whoa, what the hell was that? On this plane, emotions are able to take physical form. Those are memories that you can connect to with your feelings. If we focus on your emotional relationships with the rest of your team, they will be easier to find. Hmm. I can get her back, Pete, if we charge the forge. We can revive Lila. I can get her back, if we charge the forge. We can revive Lila. Alright guys, and thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate all the support you've given us. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe for more awesome content. And please also check out all of these thumbnails around me for more Fantastic content from projects. Alright? Alright, and until the next time, bye bye.